The UN is issuing a dire warning on climate change. It released a report compiled by some of the world's leading scientists, find, and it finds that nearly a million species are at risk of extinction because of humans. Well, Nick Watt has more on this. Nick. Robin, this 1,800-page report is designed to be a wake-up call. You know, since just the early 1990s, so a tiny sliver of human history, the footprint of our urban sprawl has more than doubled, and apparently that is just not sustainable. So after years of research and six days meeting in Paris, experts have put out this report, and here are some of the horrific headlines. Around one million species now face extinction, many within decades because of humans. Three quarters of all the land on Earth has been significantly altered in just the past 50 years by humans. Plastic pollution at sea is up tenfold since 1980, our fault. For a species that named itself Homo sapiens, the wise man, we're being incredibly stupid. The human population has doubled in just 50 years. Our agriculture consumes more and more land. Natural habitats are shrinking. We continue to pollute. The climate continues to warm. And natural ecosystems crumble at an accelerating rate. 145 leading experts from 50 countries spent three years compiling this gargantuan report, reaching frightening conclusions. The other organisms of the planet are our life support systems. You don't have to worry about them if you don't care about eating, if you don't care about breathing, uh, if you don't care about having fresh water and so on. Then you can just forget about it and die. The authors hope this work will land like last year's bombshell UN Global Warming Report, which galvanized the Green Movement. And spurred politicians towards more urgent action. We must also face the existential threat of our time, the climate crisis. As for our rapidly dwindling biodiversity, these experts claim it's the 11th hour. We must act now consuming less, polluting less, having fewer children. I'm very, very optimistic about what we could do in theory. I'm very pessimistic about what we will do. One eighth of all animal and plant species on Earth now at risk of extinction because of us. And as this report states, nature is essential for human existence. One of the reasons, Professor Ehrlich, that you just heard from there is so pessimistic is that Donald Trump is in the White House. Donald Trump, of course, has vowed to pull the US out of the Paris Climate Change Agreement and a couple of months ago tweeted this, tweeted a quote, the whole climate crisis is not only fake news, it's fake science. There is no climate crisis. So the question is whether Donald Trump will continue listening to climate skeptics on Fox and Friends, or if you will listen to 145 global experts.